Hey, what's up friends? Welcome back to another video. So recently, my brother decided to clean out his closet and his room so happened to be the room where my grandparents used to stay when they lived with us before they passed away. So when he was going through his closet, he ended up finding a lot of clothes from my grandparents. And we went through them and we reminisced, had a little bit of nostalgia, and then we decided to try on a couple of the clothes and somehow they ended up fitting us so we decided to keep a couple of the clothes and i'm going to show you some of the clothes i kept i'm going to show you a couple of the clothes he kept and i'm going to show you me styling some of the pieces i have kept so let's jump right into this to start i have a lot of shorts from my grandpa that fit me so nicely that looks so cute they're literally the shorts I look for in thrift shops. And now I just have a bunch of pairs from my grandpa that we found in the closet. So this is the first one I actually found. And I fell in love with these. They're so cute. They have deep pockets because of course they're male pants. But I don't know if women's pants used to have deep pockets back in the day. They're long and they fit towards the towards the knee, but not at the knee. A little more modest, which I like because I don't like super short shorts. I don't like my thighs rubbing together. <laughs> it fits so nicely. They're like somehow a little high-waisted, but still long. And they like shape my body so well. Like, I don't know how these look so nice on me. And I wonder how they looked like on my grandpa. I can't remember and I'll try to look for some photos, but these are so cute and like, they're adorable. The next pair are a darker wash. They're also very baggy shorts and they also fit me the same as the last pair. Very hugging, very cute long again but still short in a in a way i guess that was kind of the thing or maybe that was my grandpa's thing because these are kind of short for guy guy shorts but they fit me around to the knee but not quite the knee again deep pockets i love this outfit because i feel like it gives dark and mysterious the top i got while thrifting and the fishnet top I got at Hot Topic. And these ones kind of have a little wear and tear. You could tell that these ones were worn a little bit, but if it's okay, that means they were loved and I'm gonna love them as well. The next pair of shorts are absolutely adorable as well. They are these pair. They're like white, white denim washed, white washed, I don't, white washed? <laughs> Is that what they're called? But again, long. These pockets are super huge. Like, it's literally the whole short is the pocket. It's, it's literally the whole short. Again, fits really well on my body. They're s adorable. This green shirt and brown cover-up combo I've worn before in my videos and I love this outfit, but I've paired it now with these pants or these shorts and I love how it looks. It is so beautiful. It's a lot more summery than when I usually pair them with my flare jeans and it's just so cute. I love them so much. It's, it's so cute. I'm going to say it's so cute again in this next clip super cute and then we have this last pair which is some white shorts again same build everything this outfit was definitely a comfy cozy outfit for some reason it reminds me of adam sandler i don't know why but a very comfortable outfit and it's like baggy and it just looks comfortable and it is very comfortable and I just really like it for that reason. <laughs> 
Next, I have a bit of my grandma's clothes. So, I got this top. And I don't know why, I just really like it. It's a bit scratchy, but it's okay. I don't know why it's... So here's the top. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I really like it. So it, this is the design on the front. And then this is the sleeve. And it's like a big sleeve. It's like a flowy sleeve. And I feel like I could wear this um, at work with some pantsuit, which you'll see in a second because my grandma was a pantsuit wearer. She was a businesswoman. <laughs> but it, I don't know. I just think this is so darling. It's like kind of gold on black and I don't know. This outfit I would love to wear for teaching. I paired it with some slacks that are also like a little bit of gold. You can't really see it in this clip, but they're a little bit of gold. I think this outfit is really cute. Uh, I love this top. It's a little scratchy and maybe I would wear something inside, but right now it's really hot, so I didn't. But it's super cute. I love it so much. Next, of course, like I said, dirt was falling, sorry. Next, of course, like I said, are pantsuits because my grandma apparently was a big pantsuit wearer and I guess my mom never told me that she was all business. But this is the first pantsuit. I don't know how to describe this. It's not khaki, but it's like, how do you describe this color? I don't know. Beige? It's not beige, but anyways. I don't know how my grandma's the same size as me. <laughs> when we were looking through clothes and I was trying them on, I was like asking my mom, I was like, mommy, was 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 grandma, was Lola, or was Nanai? We call her Nanai. I was like, was Nanai kind of chubby? Cause I'm not like, I'm kind of chubby. And I always thought that my grandma was really skinny. So I was like, was, was Nanai kind of chubby? <laughs> because they fit me perfectly. So this is, the pantsuit it's so adorable and i if you guys didn't know i'm um trying to become a teacher so having pantsuits is going to be great this was actually the last outfit i tried on so as you see my hair was a mess and i didn't notice until later but yeah i love this outfit it's really cute it's my little totoro um shirt that's a little too small for me but it looks really cute with these pants and i like this outfit i think it's darling so this outfit's really cute here's my little peace sign and on to the next outfit the next pair oh, i forget what this pattern is called it's like blue and black this pattern yeah, they're really nice. They fit me quite well. It shapes my body really nice. Like, I don't know if it's just new clothes just don't shape my body well. Or if it's just old clothes should be how clothes are made. Or maybe my grandparents just bought expensive clothes and that's why they're so nice. But what I really like about these pants is that there's only one pocket on the back. And for some reason, I feel like that's so cute. Like, look at that. Isn't that like a moment? <laughs> that's like adorable. So actually, I imagined these pants with like a teacher tee or a white button up, but I couldn't find any. So I just put it with this blue um, graphic tee. But imagine it with a teacher tee. <laughs> but yeah that, that's these pair that's this pair and the last one i have for you guys is this blue pair and when i saw this blue pair i was thinking about whether to keep it or not because i was like what am i gonna wear this with and i still don't know what to wear it with right now because i'm not i haven't thought about what i'm gonna style these with yet and it's cutting away <laughs> When I saw these, I was like, what am I going to wear with these? <laughs> these bright blue pants. But they were so cute to me. And they, you know, they're my grandma's. And I miss my grandma. So. Yeah. 
So yeah, still didn't know how to style this one either. I thought maybe a teacher tee, maybe a white button up. Still didn't have those, did order those. So imagine it with a white button up or a teacher tee. Again, with the pocket, only one pocket. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's such a moment. The last piece of clothing I have to show you guys is quite interesting. It's actually this, let me back up, this leather vest. Isn't that cute? But yeah, it's this leather vest and it's in great condition. I don't even know if my grandpa wore it maybe a couple times before he left for the Philippines and left it here for some reason. But yeah, my, my grandpa, was he a biker? I think he was. Yeah, he, he had a motorcycle, but I don't know if he was a biker, <laughs> but he had this leather vest and it has like these strappies. And it's so cute. Look at the tag. It smells so good. Oh, it's, it kind of smells like my grandpa. Because my grandpa left a lot later than my grandma. So I still remember a lot more about my grandpa. But isn't this the cutest thing? It even has that um, traditional crossover zip. But yeah, this is the last piece. But is that's so cute. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through my grandparents' things. Look at my arms. Okay, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through my grandparents' things and and style their clothes. It was so fun. Um I miss my grandparents a lot and it was so fun to kind of think about them and remember them through their clothes and kind of style them and have fun with it and remember them again. I think it's great that my brother and I are able to keep my grandparents' memory alive by wearing their clothes and remembering them and praying for them and, you know, just continuing on their legacies. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like. And if you want to see future content, whether that be thrifting videos, studying videos, substituting videos, or anything else I decide to do with my little gremlin life, make sure to subscribe to see more. And remember to stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!